Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Coco Pelli, who is a Native American figure. I'm going to take three fingers from the top in the center, kind of. I'm going to draw a dot, and from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line over, curve line up, back to the dot. Starting right by the dot again, I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line. Right next to that, I'm going to draw a curve line up. Right next to that, going the opposite direction, I draw a curve line over. Right next to that, I'm going to draw a curve line up. And one more, I'm going to draw a curve line down and out. Starting right here, I'm going to draw a big curve line down. I'm going to come back up and I'm going to mimic that line again. I'm going to draw a big curve line down to about there. And then I'm going to draw a curve line connect. I come back up to the top and right here I'm going to draw a curve line down and a little curve line out. Come back up to the top, curve line down, and connect. Right about here, I'm going to draw one, two curve lines. Come down a little bit, one, two curve lines. Now I come all the way down to the left, at the bottom, and I'm going to draw a curve line down, straight diagonal out, curve line out, Curve line up, curve line in, curve line out, connect, and next to that one I'm going to draw curve line down, straight diagonal down, straight line over, curve line up, curve line in, straight line up, straight line in, connect. Starting on the inside, I'm going to draw a curved line and then a zigzag, 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 curved line, curved line, then a zigzag, 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 curved line, curved line. Okay. Now I come back up to these lines and I'm going to mimic them. Go up, around, connect. On this one, up, connect. This one, up, around, connect. This one, up, around, up, connect. This one, out, out, connect. Okay. Looks a little confusing. It's way easier to see what we're doing once we color this in. Okay, let's see how we are going to color it. Okay, Coco Pally is found in the Southwest, so we're going to use Southwest colors. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to color in, this is his face. I'm going to do all the browns first. These are all his, this is his headdress. Color these in so you can see what he looks like. Color these all in brown. Color in his musical instrument. This is brown. And these are his arms. Color these in brown. Now you can kind of see his figure a little bit better. Come down. These are his legs and his feet. These should all be brown. There we go. So you can kind of see a little bit better what you're doing. Sometimes you have to do that when you do a complicated drawing. Then I picked red-orange to do my details. Then I picked green to do my insets. You can pick any colors you want. 
And then I topped it off with yellow because that really seems southwest to me. All the way down. You can make your own patterns. You can use your own colors. This is just an example of what I used. Okay, let's see what he looks like all colored in. Okay, here's Coco Pally all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.